Hello friends, I am Sumit. In this short video, I will be telling you quickly why do we use two words together void and ultra wires. So uh, we use these two words together for invalid acts of legislature. So basically void means empty. So I often wonder why, why we use uh, ultra wires uh, if you are already using word void. So uh, you may have heard it number of times uh, uh, from the bench of judiciary concluding that so so act has been uh, termed void in ultra wires. So basically ultra wires is a Latin term which means beyond the powers. So if basically this third organ of union government that is judiciary, its job is to review the acts which are passed by legislature. So if legislature goes goes beyond the powers assigned to it and then makes a law then that law would be considered ultra wires okay ultra wires in the sense unconstitutional because they did not have power they did not have that jurisdiction to legislate in that manner and since it is beyond the powers so it is considered void okay it is considered null uh, it is considered having no substance in that sense we use the word void so now you got uh, the meaning of void and ultra wires so that's why we use both the terms so uh, there is one more word intra wires i never heard it uh, but when i was checking the difference so i came across this particular word so intra wires means within the powers so if and uh, if if legislature goes ahead and make law makes law within the legislative competence assigned to it within the jurisdiction assigned to it then that would be considered constitutional that would be considered intra wires because within it, it has made such law within the sphere of uh, legislative powers being assigned to it that would be considered constitutional so informally you can say that ultra wires means unconstitutional because you you went beyond uh, the sphere uh, which has been assigned to you earlier. Okay, so uh, yeah, thank you so much for your time.